hey what's going on guys it's your boy nightly power here in today's gta 5 online video i'll be showing you guys how to do the car to car merge glitch so if you guys do happen to enjoy today's video why not go ahead and drop a like if you guys aren't already subscribed to the channel make sure to subscribe with the bell icon turned on so you guys never miss a future post when i do happen to upload on the channel today's shout out goes to these people on screen If you guys would like a shout out in my next video, go ahead and comment hashtag NightlyPower in the comment section down below. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Before this video starts, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Messy Modding. If you're looking for modded accounts or account services, then definitely check out Messy Modding. They provide rank and cash services for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. They also offer modded accounts for the PS4 and the Xbox One, so definitely check them out. I'll have their link in the description down below. Thank you to our sponsor, Messy Modding. Now let's get straight into the video. Today is a day where you guys get the car to car merge glitch. With the car to car merge glitch, you'll be able to transfer mods from one car to another. The best part about this glitch, it is a solo glitch. You will not need anyone to help you out. So to begin with this car to car merge glitch, you will need to put a car in the back of the MOC. The car you choose to put inside the MOC will have its mods transfer onto another car. Next, you're going to need to use the software NetCut. So once you have all the requirements to do the car to car merge glitch, the first step is to take the car inside the MOC into the custom shop. When you get inside the custom shop, make a change to every upgrade you want to have transferred onto another car. So for example, if you want to transfer the F1 wheels onto another car, for the car to car merge glitch, you are going to need to use the open wheel cars. So then, make an adjustment to whatever upgrade you want to have transferred onto another car. So if it's the wheels, change the wheels. If it's a suspension, change the suspension. So once you're done adjusting upgrades on the car, back out and hover over the last screen where you're going to leave the custom shop. Now you're going to open NetCut. NetCut is a program to lag the internet on a device. We are going to use this program to lag the internet on our console. Then we'll be able to play GTA on the same account on different consoles since the first console is in limbo. So on NetCut, find the IP of your console. You're only going to use NetCut on one console. Now on NetCut, set incoming to 7500, next change your bandwidth to 5, and change Mbit to Kbits. So once you made these adjustments on NetCut, select the Wi-Fi logo. Now on Xbox, you have to wait 5 minutes before you log into the second console, but on PlayStation, you can go right ahead. After you log into console 2, make your way to store mode, then start up an invite only session. When you load up into online, 
open up the phone, go to the internet, and buy the car you want to transfer the mods onto. Put the car in the back of your MOC. After you bought the car and put it in the MOC, wait for the orange loading circle on the bottom right of your screen, then make your way to story mode. When you get into story mode, quit the game and then go back to console 1. When you get back to console 1, go to net cut. Change incoming to 0, change k bits to m bits, and lastly change your bandwidth to unlimited. Now you're going to confirm to leave the custom shop. When your car drives out of the custom shop, press Y to get out of the car. As soon as your character steps out of the car, go to net cut and select the Wi-Fi logo. Now you should get the orange saving circle on the bottom right corner of your screen. After you get the orange saving circle, push down on the d-pad and select any story mode character. When you get into story mode, go ahead and start up an invite only session. Now when you load into online, if everything was done correctly, your car should have the mods from the previous car on it. Now to check if all the mods successfully transferred onto this car, take the car into the custom shop and go through every upgrade to see if the mods transferred onto the car. Now if you guys enjoyed today's car to car merge glitch, make sure to drop a like. And as always, it's been your boy Nelly Power, peace out. Look at my life, feel my pain. When it comes to me, you are not the same. This is so far from a game. What you saying? It ain't nothing but heartbreak and dedication. Quit complaining, look at my life, feel my pain.